Beer pong is a drinking game in which players throw ping pong balls across a table. Attempting to land each ball in a cup of beer on the other end drinking games are games which involve the consumption of alcoholic beverages. Evidence of the existence of drinking games dates back to antiquity. Drinking games have been banned at some institutions, particularly colleges and universities. Symposium, with scene of Cotabos, fresco from the tomb of the diver in Pastum, 475 BC Cotabos is one of the earliest known drinking games from ancient Greece. Dated to the 5th to 4th centuries BC. Players would use dregs to hit targets across the room with their wine. Often, there were special prizes and penalties for one's performance in the game. Drinking games were enjoyed in ancient China, usually incorporating the use of dice or verbal exchange of riddles. During the Tang Dynasty, the Chinese used a silver canister where written lots could be drawn that designated which player had to drink and specifically how much, for example, from 1, 5, 7, or 10 measures of drink that the youngest player, or the last player to join the game, or the most talkative player, or the host, or the player with the greatest alcohol tolerance, etc., had to drink. There were even drinking game referee officials, including a registrar of the rules who knew all the rules to the game, a registrar of the horn who tossed a silver flag down on calling out second offenses, and a governor who decided one's third call of offense. These referees were used mainly for maintaining order and for reviewing faults that could be punished with a player drinking a penalty cup. If a guest was considered a coward for dropping out of the game, he could be branded as a deserter and not invited back to further drinking bouts. There was another game where little puppets and dolls dressed as western foreigners with blue eyes were set up and when one fell over, the person it pointed to had to empty his cup of wine. A wager cup drinking games in 19th century Germany included Bierskat, Elfern, Rams, and Quadlibet as well as Schlock and Le Bober which may well be the same game as Grassaburn. But the crown of all drinking games was one with an ancient and distinctive name, Cerevis. One feature of the game was that everything went under a different name from normal. So the cards were called spoons, the sevens were septembers and the aces were the juveniles. A player who used the normal names was penalized. Every time a card was played, it was supposed to be accompanied by humorous words, so if a jack or unter was played, the player might. Say something like my merry unturkasser or long live my unturkasser. If his opponent beat it, he might say hang the unturkasser. The loser had to chalk up a figure such as a swallow, a wheel or a pair of scissors depending on the number of minus points gained and was only allowed to erase them once he had drunk the associated amount of beer. Silver wager cups, originally used during 16th century German wedding feasts, are used in dexterity drinking games. Players fill both the large cup and the smaller cup that swings beneath it, and must drink from the former without spilling the latter. Bonging is popular among college students. The simplest drinking games are endurance games in which players compete to outdrink one another. Players take turns taking shots, and the last person standing is the winner. Some games have rules involving the cascade, fountain, or waterfall, which encourages each player to drink constantly from their cup so long as the player before him does not stop drinking. Such games can also favor speed over quantity, in which players race to drink a case of beer the fastest. Often drinking large amounts will be combined with a stylistic element or an abnormal method of drinking, as with the boot of beer, yard of ale, or a keg stand. Tolerance games are simply about seeing which player can last the longest. It can be as simple as two people matching each other drink for drink until one of the participants passes out. Power Hour and its variant, Centurion, fall under this category. Many pub or bar games involve competitive drinking for speed. Examples of such drinking games are Edward Forty Hands, Boat Races, Beer Bonging, Shotgunning, Flippy Cup, and Yard. Some say that the most important skill to improving speed is to relax and take fewer but larger gulps. There are a variety of individual tactics to accomplishing this, such as bending the knees in anticipation, or when drinking from a plastic cup, squeezing the sides of the cup to form a more perfect funnel. Athletic races involving alcohol including the beer mile, which consists of a mile run with a can of beer consumed before each of the four laps. A variant is known in German-speaking countries as Bierkassenlauf where a team of two carries a crate of beer along a route of several kilometers and must consume all of the bottles prior to crossing the finish line. Some party and pub games focus on the performance of a particular act of skill, rather than on either the amount of participant drinks or the speed with which they do so. Examples include beer pong, quarters, chandeliers, caps, polished horseshoes, pong, baseball, and beer darts. Pub golf involves orienteering and pub crawling together. 
A unique drinking game is made in the Tavern of Felchamber in Zurich, Switzerland. It is called Bockenprobe and one has therefore to climb up a beam at the ceiling and move to another beam and then to drink a glass of wine with the head hanging down. Thinking games rely on the player's powers of observation, recollection, logic and articulation. Numerous types of thinking games exist, including Think or Drink, 21, Beer Checkers, Biz Buzz, Buffalo, Saved by the Bell, Bullshit. Tourette's, Matchboxes, Never Have I Ever, Roman Numerals, Fuzzy Duck, Pennying, Wine Games, and Zoom Schwartz Profiliano. Trivia games, such as Trivial Pursuit, are sometimes played as drinking games. Kings is played with cards. Drinking games involving cards include President, Horse Race, Kings, Liars Poker, Pyramid, Ring of Fire, Topin, Ride the Bus in Black or Red. Dice games include Beer Die, Dudo, Kinito, Liars Dice, Mexico, Mia, Ship, Captain, and Crew, Three Man, and Triple Snakes. Movie drinking games are played while watching a movie and have a set of rules for who drinks when and how much based on on screen events and dialogue. The rules may be the same for all players, or alternatively, players may each be assigned rules related to particular characters. The rules are designed so that rarer events require larger drinks. Rule sets for such games are usually arbitrary and local, although they are sometimes published by fan clubs. In reference to film, a popular game among young adults consists of printing out a mustache and taping it on the television screen. Every time the mustache fits appropriately to a person on the screen, one must drink the designated amount. Live drinking games such as Los Angeles-based a drinking game involve recreating films of the 80s in a Rocky Horror fashion, with gift bags, drinking cues, and costumed actors. A suggestion to do six shots for SEAL Team 6 following every mention of Osama bin Laden at the 2012 Democratic National Convention necessitated a prominent disclaimer on the satire site that posted it. As the quantity of alcohol ingested would probably have been lethal. Dotsuk game involves a Dotsuk highlight reel being played and contestants drink every time the word Dotsuk is mentioned. The ceremonial playing of the Russian national anthem before the game is another tradition. Music can also be used as a basis for drinking games. The song Thunderstruck by ACDC is used in which a player begins drinking when the word thunder is sung and switches to the next player the next time it is sung. Sport-related drinking games involve the participants each selecting a scenario of the game resulting in their drink being downed. Examples of this include participants each picking a footballer in a game while other versions require multiple players to be selected. Should a player score or be sent off, a drink must be taken. Another version requires a drink for every touch a player takes of the ball. Some drinking games can fall into multiple categories such as a power hour which is a primarily an endurance-based game, but can also incorporate the arts if players are prompted to drink by a playlist that changes songs every 60 seconds. Similarly, Flip Cup combines the skill of flipping cups with the speed of drinking quickly prior to flipping. Many drinking game apps have been launched on mobile devices, Android, iOS, and Windows Phone. Thanks for watching.